from a brand new... 2018. Before pandemonium breaks loose, let me wish you on behalf of... LSDNT. All of our New Year's Rockin' Eve friends, a happy new year to you in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! New Year's Rockin' Eve. The Let's Spend the Night Together podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Spend the Night Together. I am your host, Dante. With me, as always, is my colleague, cohort, and co-conspirator, the vivacious Craig. Yes. Craig, say hello to the fine people. Oh, well, hello. Now, for those uh, new listeners to the show, you might say, Mm -hmm. what have I stumbled upon? Yeah. Well, I'm about to give you the skinny. This is a late-night chat show where we discuss a wide variety of topics and news. Um, Primarily, we focus our attention on pop culture, music, religion, sex, drugs, and bad American sitcoms from the 1970s. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Whatever. It's all the same to us. In the 70s. It's all pink to us. (laughs) If you're offended by anything we say... No, no. We hope you'll keep an open mind. Yeah. And remember... These are just jokes. So with that being said, I just wanted to clear the air. Yeah, let's... How are things doing now that we're in the new year, Craig? This new year is treating me good so far. Mm -hmm. Seconds into it, it was already felt better. I, uh... David Bowie hasn't died since... (laughs) In 2018 yet, so... Yeah, he hasn't died quite yet. I invested a lot in Bitcoin. Did you? Yeah, hopefully the bubble... Doesn't yeah. break this year. It unbursts, hopefully. <laughs> exactly right. I have some money yeah. uh, settled Could in, in uh, pot coin, but most of it's in Bitcoin. Yeah, in pot so, coin. A lot of the is that where like coins. weed nugs become mm. like cryptocurrency? It's nug currency. currency. Yeah. Well, it's going to be. I mean, this is. Hey, so this can is can past... I give you some nugs for some grindage? <laughs> sure, weasel. <laughs> What yeah? What is every skeevy stoner in California going to do now that yeah. the league has been uh, decriminalized here? Is that what are too? we going to do? <laughs> exactly, well, I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be. It's a strange it's a big, new there's world. There's going to be a lot of parades and weird, wild stuff. People shouting from the rooftops. <laughs> how happy they are. It's going to be very high. So it's yeah. just kind of like how it always is in San Francisco. On Probably Hill. a lot of munchies. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it just be great if, <clears throat> like, Funyuns sold out, like, in the oh state of California? God. Everybody Funyuns loves Funyuns when they're out. and, high. like, Fanta. Pig skins, those are pretty good, too. <laughs> Pig skins. Uh, yeah, Fanta, orange, oh, man. Yeah. Did I ever tell you that I had a Fanta watermelon vanilla one time? Are you serious? In a land far away, yeah. Really? Yeah. In a Known land as far away. Japan. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it was quite good. If, I you're wanna, quiet. <laughs> if you're quiet, I want to get into a few stories. We, of course, have award-winning segments that we're known for. Yeah, these are getting like a lot of exposure for us. Our there's, segments. There's a lot of buzz out there. On yeah, the people are like, "You like podcasts, but like this one's the segments within." Yeah, are great. <laughs> <laughs> you think you've heard a podcast before? <laughs> no one said you that. haven't heard podcasts done yeah. like this. That's your daddy's podcast. Yeah, your daddy's has like a segment or two. Yeah. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, not as good as these No ones. way, bro. Here we, we, we have our ba- our hairs, our hair, our hats backwards. Yeah, our hair up. Our hair up. We're wearing Letting our, our, hair down. our Jinko shorts and our British knights. Oh my God. And I'm wearing my FUBU as always. Yeah. I'm representing, so. I don't yeah. even remember how we got you on You look this. good in FUBU. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I have my Tommy Hill figure. <laughs> It's very, it, you know, it's influenced much Woo-wear. by uh, Woo-wear. Uh, Ali, Woo. Ali G and <laughs> People Do Nothing. Yeah, people, what is it? People, what did I say that wrong? I know I did. People Just Do Nothing. Yeah, like for that. all our, yeah, uh, that show is. our English fans our out UK there. UK fans. UK fans, yeah. We're big in the United Kingdom and <clears throat> Greece. Yeah, yeah. This show really translates well. Well, obviously, I mean, the, you know... Uh, the, yeah. the country that birthed democracy obviously would, you know, real uh, notice is real, you know. Yeah, real recognize real. Yes, you could yeah. say it that way. Most people Greece do. Greece keeps it 100, too. What's that? Are Greece? they the ones who started com- uh, communism? Or fascism? Is that what you said? Communism or no, democracy? No. Oh, yeah, democracy. Greece is who started democracy? Yeah, the Greeks did, oh, yeah, the ancient Greeks. Right. Bless their yeah. hearts. 
It's working out for everybody perfectly. Yeah. All over the world. We evenly. should go back to that too, like a, a polytheistic mm-hmm. religion. I think would be cool. Yeah. Like well, we kind of already do, stuff. right? I mean, we like believe. We believe in uh, Santa Claus. Yeah, so we he's have a our God. Santa Claus. I pray to Santa. And then we have the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. And then there's another one that I'm forgetting. Uh, the turkey for Thanksgiving. There's a turkey. <laughs> he's running around the turkey and the pilgrim. Uh, and then yeah. obviously uh, there's like a leprechaun. A racist Irish caricature. For yeah, it's not even a leprechaun. Saying. It's just a drunk. Yeah. Uh, the fighting Irish. Vacant father that was never there for you when you were growing Fuck up. You, I'm a fighting Irish. You're like, wow, this is all I get for being Irish, a drunk dad. Yeah. Thanks. That just has a really red face and is always like pissed off. And yeah. People. All the kids at school <laughs> call me a potato Mexican. Oh, man. I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> to all our Irish brethren. Yeah, we love you guys. Um, okay, well, yeah, I was just uh, mentioning before I went on that the huge... IRA? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the, that. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into. Um, I I made a promise to myself because somehow <laughs> something that seemingly would never lead you anywhere mm-hmm. suspicious, yeah, somehow can lead us in one degree yeah. into like the most horrible, yeah, an international tragedy. conflict, <laughs> yeah, international conflict, that where I don't even see it coming yeah. until it's too close, and then. Yeah, the we're past is... it. We're into another room, mm-hmm. and you can't go back. And you've already been blue. through. The show gets a little blue. It gets a little blue, and I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna facilitate that. That being said, I would like to talk about a woman making plaster casts of men's penises. Okay, so we're not we're like not that low brow. But we're like not really very high, bro. <laughs> we're getting there. We're we're, we're getting. <laughs> we're there. low. We're just not as low as we're laughing just, about the IRA. Yeah. Well, not because I to be honest with you, I don't know enough about it, so I feel. <laughs> but but uh, ceramic cocks are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are fine. No, if there is something that I do know, you know, stick to what you know. That's what they said. That's what they told me in school. You know, you're probably uh, not going to know a lot, and you don't seem to have a lot of job opportunities, so uh, stick to what you know. Yeah, if you're an expert in something, ceramic cocks, you know, maybe (laughs) something more important. Competitive market, you know, like stocks and bonds. Something with more of a market and a business behind it. No, just... What is your business model with your knowledge of ceramic penises? Uh, I could just definitely go places. Well, yeah. that that's not even You're that crazy of a thing. I mean, there's there's plenty of dumb GoFundMe pages yeah. out there of, of <laughs> yeah. artists. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save twenty gallons of piss because Trump was elected yeah. president, and this is an expression of how I feel. So I'm gonna. That's pretty good. It, I'm gonna draw with urine. Yeah, it has a good impact. It yeah. saves the election somehow. Very sterile. He might step down if you piss in one more jar. <laughs> Um, every jar counts of piss in this in this political in this climate that we're in. No jar of piss means more or less than anyone else's. That's true. Is yeah. what I say. Power to the people. How come yours are so like dark? You've been eating too much teriyaki or something. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly uh, P.F. Chang's. <laughs> also, good stuff. Yeah, it's all the MSG. <laughs> it helps me. It helps like clean out my trap. Yeah, this is uh, the the kung pao chicken. Yeah, that sounds great. Can I get it with extra ML- MSG? <laughs> Okay, great. The, the type of stuff that I know it's going to make me just really... Oh. Uh, I'm going to punish myself in the morning. Oh. I'm not going to be able to move. Somebody will have to come get me oh. from the, from the to- toilet. From your from the toilet? <laughs> from an MSG overdose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just all blue and shaking. <laughs> oh, my God. I said I'd never touch the chicken cashew again. <sighs> but I, I'm kidding myself. Oh my god. I just have to go... The... It's worth the MSG. <laughs> yeah. The bloating. and You have to go to some kind of like group meeting. Oh my god. Survivors MSG. of MSG. You know? MSG and honest. I still get the flashbacks right now. <laughs> oh my I god. I can imagine the peaking pork in my mouth. It was the mushu mouth. pork. <laughs> it gets me every time. They call it a gateway <laughs> drug. It certainly yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's, uh, let's talk about a little segment I like to call I Know It's oh. Only Rock and Roll. Oh, this is our, our one of our new segments. Exactly right. But I like it. Oh, hey there. Yes, yes I do. Let's spend the night together. Alright, what yeah. are we talking about? I promised you segment. 
It's a first new segment. Of the night. We usually it's talk about one. music history here. Our first um, segment of 2018. Yeah. It's just nice that it's a brand new segment. Yeah. Brand new start. Let's make it a fun Ooh. one, guys. Sometimes I get a little sentimental on the show. That was one of those times. Yeah. That was big. Yeah. Do you feel like we need to take a, like a drive to Monterey? <laughs> we have a shot. Yeah. <laughs> let's, <laughs> we do, can... let's drive in a convertible to Monterey and we'll mm-hmm. just record the rest of the podcast okay. in a white convertible. We'll just have dinner over white wine and muscle just talk car. about the good old days. Yeah, with some wine. <laughs> muscle car. <laughs> a white muscle car with the convertible. Top down. I can just see it now. The two old queens. All right. Yeah, so uh, (laughs) the podcast. Just yelling over the wind. (laughs) All right. uh, Cynthia (laughs) Plastercaster puts her wings on the web. Oh, that's a pretty provocative headline. What is? No. Wangs. Yeah, what is? (laughs) Be a great Jeopardy question. (laughs) What is is what I do on my Tuesday? What I'm going to be buying after the show? Oh, my God. All right. Website bookmarked on my computer right now. (laughs) Cynthia Plastercaster. That's her, her last wings. name. That's what she's known by. <laughs> it's like Terry Genderbender, the singer of. Uh, Except Little she has talent. And yeah. Cynthia Plastercaster. Oh, okay. She just puts her wangs on the web. Come on, Cynthia. In Keep the, your wangs to yourself. In the annals of rock history, Wayne Kramer will what forever. What does she use them to fly? <laughs> wangs. <laughs> Fuck, all right. You got it. That's going to be a long... This, you're going to be on... That's, that's like a foul. You know... Foul can, tip. Yeah. <laughs> Just down the foul line. You have a really comedic <laughs> mind, you know. Things and the like first... That. And the third base coach happen. is just fucking waving you home, man. Yeah. Just go for it. The third coach is flipping you off. Yeah. All right. In the annals of rock history, Wayne Kramer will forever have a two-inch dick. Oh, no. Wayne. What happened? Wayne quite literally got the shaft. Oh, says well, this Cynthia. writer's having fun. Plaster caster. Or Cynthia's just, you know, she's... Yeah. She doesn't care. Cynthia's she's, giving him some low She's, uh, some you know, she puts her sexuality locks. out there, Craig. She yeah. Doesn't, she doesn't mind. It sounds like it, yeah. All right, so he literally she got the shaft. Conk. He has a small penis. Yeah. Cynthia, who cast the MC5 guitarist member as well as that of drummer Dennis Thompson. The member of MC5's member? There's so many different, yeah. yeah. I, you think that the, the, the person so, writing this even got that? Yeah, before the writer wrote this article, mm-hmm. I guarantee you they wrote a list out of synonyms of penis. And oh, of course, yeah. And slang words of penis, and they're like, Yeah, I'm get the thesaurus as out, many people. As I can, yeah. Uh, this, this article, of course, comes courtesy to the podcast from Reader. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. That story did? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah keep she sending got... in ideas for stories that you want to hear us kind of oh, yeah. take apart. Definitely, definitely. Well, uh, we're, we're commentators, well really. We, we have a, yeah. a nice little chat about these certain things. Yeah. All right, so, so you don't want to think, like, have your own opinions. <sighs> totally not. Just we'll throw on the news and they'll tell you. Just yeah. fucking download whatever the popular thing is. Yeah. All right, so she was doing this in 1969. She was plastering cocks. Hmm. The world's second most famous groupie was still perfecting her gimmick. <laughs> what a what an honorable title! That is. <laughs> I love it. The second most Who's famous the first? groupie. Is it who is it? I don't know. Is I, it that like fourteen year old girl that Jimmy, Jimmy Page, Page was and with? Ziggy Stardust were digging down. Oh my down? god! Yeah, I don't know how he got away from the authorities, especially when David Bowie wasn't sneaking off with Mick Jagger. He was sleeping with some. Oh my god! Young lady, and that was what? Like that was? I mean, it, I remember that <laughs> cool. was in, that was cool. <laughs> well, in the seventies, they didn't give a fuck. I guess not. Man. A fuck at all, man. It's it was very weird. I remember yeah. reading about that, and there's yeah. a great Led Zeppelin book called Hammer of the God. <laughs> yeah, and they amazing. weren't shy about Jimmy Page. This this is kind of like a weird turn, but we yeah. might as well just go down it. Yeah, explore it. Yeah, uh, Jimmy exactly. Page. Was a known heroin addict, and he his girlfriend <laughs> was like fourteen at the time. Take him home to mom. And he had these trunks. I remember from the book he had trunks that were filled with like horse whips and uh, oh my god, and all like kinds of other trinkets and, and horribleness. Yeah. I like to bind and be bound. I like to be bound. Oh my god! You can just imagine my Jimmy tools? Page. Yeah, I'm a so what? I'm a guitar wizard. They're my too. I want you to. I want you to tie me up. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up, love. <laughs> right, don't worry about Robert. He's in the other room. Oh my god. Sign me up, love. They just go in they go in Jimmy's room and there's just like a dildo on the bed. They're like, Jimmy, yeah. what like what was going on with your chick? <laughs> He's like, Oh no, 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 mate, that was for me. 
That's mine. I, I got another. I wanted another Todger in here, and there wasn't. A Todger. I'll give you a ring, and you what didn't are you, come a tosser? up. So I just took care of come myself. Come on, I blew my beans in her muff. She didn't care. She liked it. I I'm wrote, fucking Led Zeppelin, I mate. I thought you wrote Stairway to Heaven. Come on, oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Ever heard Stairway? All right. There's a lady who knows, you know, etc., etc. Where all the bondage whip goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's in here, Jimmy? Is it, what are all these crates? Are they your different guitars? Oh, well, yeah. No, love. Yeah, that's right. They're, o- they're artifacts. There's some Fifty Shades it's, shit. Yeah. Before the real... You'll know what, that's a, what I'm talking about. Fifty years. They were so ahead of their time. Very much so. All right, so <laughs> back to the caster, the plaster caster. Yeah. She's talking about... Oh, we were, what made us go into the whole Led Zeppelin... Uh, oh, yeah, shoot. yeah. The world's second most famous therapy <coughs> was still perfecting her gimmick. He got the container mm-hmm. that wasn't designed to mix uh, alienates in, she says. To mix what? I don't even know. Aliens? Yeah, aliens in. <laughs> Al Guinness. Paging Tom DeLong. Yeah, I can't even... All right. Strike that from the record, Your Honor. <laughs> she says, if you mix it wrong, the wrong way, it sets prematurely. It set before he could push his dick all the way into the mold. Only the head got in. Quote, For who? Kramer? Wayne Kramer? Yeah. She Why'd she says, keep that one then? He it's wasn't upset, up. though. He wasn't, cause oh, he wasn't, wasn't upset, so man. He was very cool. He was very it's all right. I'm secure about the situation. with the size of my... My peg. The way, Wayne, My prick. He, I believe what? Wayne is uh, from Detroit. Detroit. It's a meat sword. <laughs> He's from Detroit. <laughs> oh my god, I've blundered that. I love it though. Okay, just you get, now from now on. He's, Wayne Kramer's he's British. British and he has a meat sword and he's fucking singing it. <laughs> he's got a meat sword. All right, so she says uh, he wasn't very upset with the meat sword. Wayne is perfectly aware of what he's got, as yeah. we just stated. He doesn't have to prove anything to the world. Since then, Plaster Caster has added about 60 more penises. I've got to kick out the jams. What do I need a big cock for? <laughs> kick out the jams, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, do you have my penis cast? Can I get that oh up? Oh my god. Uh, since the Plaster Caster... Kick out caster... the short dick, motherfucker! <laughs> since the Plaster Caster has added about 60 more penises in recent oh, wow. years, a few, a few breasts to her collection. Breasts? Yeah, and a few... Yeah. The way that this is written is really <coughs> pissing me off. Why not pussies? <laughs> Plaster pussies. Of Janice Joplin. Perhaps one day, I don't know. Yeah. What's that uh, uh, pussy riot? That uh, oh, yeah. Russian punk group. Yeah. Maybe they'll do it. They might. Uh, okay, so she's yeah, talking about... There's, now she has a collection of all these dicks. Yeah. Cast, caster plastics. But yeah, it's a beautiful Though thing. she'd uh, exhibited them once, she'd never sold any of what she refers to them as her. And Hendrix's, like, fills up the entire room. <laughs> it's a whole... Just curls I just, around. Yeah, it just fills up a half of my garage. Oh, my God. Uh, she refers to the, the, <laughs> the dicks as her sweet babies. So she refers to them up wow. until uh, October 2nd, which she, when her new Cynthia P. Caster Foundation <laughs> made its first fifteen to hundred dollars on a limited edition plaster Paris... Reproduction cast of Jimi Hendrix. Oh, it was him. The mission of the foundation is to raise funds for struggling musicians and artists by yeah, selling. Yeah, they could feed a small country if they just ate it. If it was made out of like cheese or something. <laughs> yeah. It'll it'll uh, <laughs> it'll save and uh, the starving people of of Ghana, no doubt. Twenty five percent of the sale goes to the model. If he or she's still alive, Jimi Hendrix has been dead since the 1960s. And everything else goes into the kitty. I don't know what the fuck that means. But his dick didn't die until 1982. Yeah, strangely enough, <laughs> it, it continued. It just kind of wandered like uh, it wandered the, like the that uh, that white guy in Kung Fu that was yeah. pretending to be Asian. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, that guy was into some kinky sex stuff, too. That was another that was guy, though. Yeah, he had an untimely and unfortunate ending. <laughs> I guess, what do you think that was about? Most likely... Beatrix his... Kiddo wasn't the one that got him in the end. I was going to say, yeah, it was, his, <laughs> it was his kinky fetishes. But I was going to say, perhaps, you know, he was he was overseas. Yeah. I remember hearing a story that he, people thought that he had been murdered. There was foul play. Really? Perhaps some kind of ninjas or something like that. Or his masturbation techniques. Or it's just... Usually it's like the most, you know, on-the-nose thing. Yeah. You know, what is it, like... Whatever uh, most likely happened or could happen, most likely happened. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, he either was murdered by ninjas 
Or he hung himself masturbating. Right. Yeah. Probably the ninjas. Yeah. Is what I have to do. Uh, yeah. So, much love and respect. <laughs> I will remember you. All right. So, uh, a bunch of the cash goes into That's the kitty. That's respectful you. Yeah, that was pretty fucking, yeah, <laughs> David Carradine. Thank Carradine. you very much. Maybe you can throw, throw a little montage of him Rest going on. Uh, some casts are available individually, but Plaster Caster also offers package deals, like the Guitars Collection. Oh, did you see what they did there? Package deals? This is, I, I love how you're picking these out. <laughs> I like the Guitars Collection, where for $2,500 you get Kramer, Hendrix, Dan Crowe. Wait, Kramer? <laughs> Kramer! I was, on the, I, cast of your dick. I was on the internet yesterday and Kramer, Kramer's <laughs> dick was there. Kramer's dick? Kramer's what? There was a cast of Kramer's peg. George, it was Kramer's dick. <laughs> if it gets out there, do you think if, if Michael Richards had a dildo? It'd be massive. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. No. I was going to say, do you think it would thinking? sell well on the market? Um... I'd be willing Maybe to overseas? Pay, I'd be willing to pay at least five to six digits worth of money for that. <laughs> you mean fingers? Fingers. Fingers. <laughs> like wide or long it is? Yeah. Two hands for sure. He's a two-hander. He's a two-hander. Oh, Prima, I never knew you were so big. <laughs> What's the deal with your friend, your neighbor across the street? Having a big dick. And he's always screaming racial <laughs> slurs. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Kramer! When you do stand up, you never do racial slurs. You never go blue. They don't like it. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's another, some other dicks that this lady's selling. If you can't afford the dick. Yeah, so Wayne Kramer. Wayne Kramer, Hendrix, and Dan Krolha. Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> Guitars for the Gories and the Demolition what? Doll Rods. I don't even know the fuck that Who is. Who the fuck? So if I started a band, she'd mm-hmm. probably do my my dick. Too. Yeah, she's willing to do anybody. I think if you're in the vicinity <laughs> of where she is, yeah. and you could drive, most exactly. likely she'll do you. So All right. I never, she never got Jimmy Page. No, or like Mick Jagger, or maybe like she did, and then in the morning the it had disappeared or something. The Poonhound? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like she made one of Jimmy <laughs> Page, and like. It burnt in David front of her. David came by and stole it or something. <laughs> this looks familiar. <laughs> uh, if you can't afford... It's just the right size. If you can't afford dick, yes, that is how it's written. If you can't afford dick, <coughs> oh my God. you can still get a t-shirt for $20. You don't have to be a private dick to track down these deals. I don't know. <laughs> that was a stretch. Uh, uh, there's an apron you can get for $30. What do you think the apron says? Because the bit would be, obviously, yeah. kiss the cook. Kiss the dick. So, yeah. Kiss the dick. <laughs> Plaster the dick. <laughs> then an arrow pointing. Uh, or a print of one of the plaster caster drawings. Uh, say, George Harrison from the neck up. $600. Unfriend. What? Why? <laughs> oh, my God. It stems, she says, from when I worked at this miserable job years ago, and I had a coworker. Who I thought was very talented, but she didn't realize it. What? She was a great singer, Craig. No, <laughs> let me explain. What is she talking about? <laughs> and I used to fantasize about rescuing her oh, okay. and myself from this boring job. With George Harrison. And finding a way that we could, uh, we would enable us, or find what would enable us to do what we were meant to do and pursue our uh, creative projects. So, uh, yeah, bless her heart if you'd like to. Uh, Maybe Is there a GoFundMe for this? There's a yeah, Cynthia <clears throat> Cynthia Pcaster dot org. Uh, if, maybe if you're looking to be cause. become a part of the board of directors or something like that, set up some kind of web design for them, web page. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe take out some large loans. I don't know. Help them out, but they need it. So. And there, I know Saudi prints too. Hmm. <laughs> As do I. So, uh, the last thing, uh, last note. I have a bridge I can sell, The plaster sell, yeah. caster, Cynthia says, my plaster casters are my sweet babies. Has she done Justin Timberlake? And this is my big boy, says plaster caster. Drake? They refer to him, her, as plaster caster. It's her, <laughs> her as plaster caster. Yeah. I'm able to <laughs> do what, what I want, what, my, my, my goodness. I'm able to do what I do now because of financers, and I want other people to be able to experience what I'm able to experience. 
which is being the real me. And besides, what I think this world needs right now is groovy music and art. And big cocks. Couldn't have said it better myself. From <laughs> singers. So, uh, now, this. I'm Michael Jordan. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about. Kids. Kids are the reason McDonald's sponsors their Get It Straight program, a national drug awareness effort. Think about this. Many of you using drugs out there now are under 18. Do you realize that at 18, you have lived only one-fourth of your life? When you're using drugs, you're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really can be. And believe me, if you don't use drugs, you can just about be anything you want to be. Listen, you got at least three-fourths of your life to go. That's three more lifetimes to you. So don't blow it. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. A chance to find out all the wonderful things you really can be. And so do I. Thank you, McDonald's. I like how they look out for your health, for your family, families, you know, every, your a income. lot of different <laughs> Your income, yeah. I like that. They want to make sure that you leave hungry and happy, or yeah. not hungry and happy, rather. And try You're gonna be their happy. new signature select. <laughs> They're a sandwich with a smile. I think people just want a sandwich <laughs> served with a smile. Like, I don't necessarily mm-hmm. care if the sandwich is good or not. No. The most important part to me is the smile. The, it's, it's like at the Taco Bell drive thru when you pull up and they say, Hi, how are you? How are you doing? It's like, that's what I care about. I Five tacos, whatever, but thank you so much for asking how I am. You know, I'm doing good. You know, I'm I bet doing that good at the moment. My <laughs> father in law, uh, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> you I want just to know how I'm doing? I just got a raise. <laughs> or do you want to take my order? I just I put yeah. it in an above ground pool out in the backyard. Yeah. The kids are thrilled. I mean, my wife left me and took the kids, but they're thrilled about the but pool I'm for me. But I'm enjoying the pool, yeah. and I keep sending them the pool brochures. And I got a dog that I scream at at night. <laughs> oh, no. But the dog's enjoying the pool. Oh, man, the stories <laughs> of the, you know, the single... Dad. Working dad, the working yeah. dad that you know yeah. he's the longshoreman the, by the day, the white male, you know the <laughs> the unsung. <clears throat> oh my goodness! All right, well, what were we just playing? Hey, mom, there's something some, in some the back room. One eighty two, and I why? Think it is an alien. <laughs> because Tom DeLong. Yeah, now, I the nasally uh, voiced singer of your youth. Yeah, <laughs> just how you remember him. <laughs> Back when, you were six, back when you were 16 and he was writing songs like he was 13. <laughs> All we, the hits. We devoured them. Yeah, we're not talking Creed, we're talking Blink-182. <laughs> yeah, that's the other one, yeah. Uh, that was more like a girl in Blink-182. is like you know, a boy, he, <laughs> 13-year-old boy. Uh, I do, um, I don't even, I don't give a hoot or a holler. I do have yeah. some Blink-182 songs. You like you some Blink-182. And I know after the show you're probably yeah. going to assault me. For yeah, I've that. never been. You're going to come at me. I've never been a fan. I've never counted no. myself one of the 182. No? Would you, uh, would you say, w- can I get you to say a positive thing about Blink-182? Um, I think each of the members, their mothers are cunts. <laughs> but like... So, Travis they, Barker's uh, drums... They raised some nice boys. So I, I <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's still kind of backhanded. But I can't, you know. We, I, there's a lot of... But they but, I don't like their music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's still... <laughs> you know, I'm that's just... a pretty big compliment. I'm kidding around, but your mothers are, you know. Yeah. They're C's. <laughs> oh Let's be real. <laughs> they dropped a hard C. That was a hard C. In England, they just let that go. That's they like... Can't... <laughs> that's like drinking yeah. tea in the morning. Uh Yep. Sp- can I get a spot of tea, you cunt? <laughs> oh, certainly, sweetheart. It's can I get a spot of away. cunt, you tea? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, what are we talking about? The story comes courtesy from the Daily News. To hear yeah. let's spend a night together. Former Blank-182 member Tom DeLong hints the Pentagon UFO disclosure is only the beginning. Quote, there's a lot of shit coming. Yeah, so Tom DeLong. Years ago, after being in Blink-182 and Angels and Airwaves... Mm. Is it Airwaves? Yeah. Or Airwaves. It's all relative. It, they're pretty stupid, too. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, 
They're both not that bad of bands. Well, he had a break. <laughs> he had a break. But yeah, the, he was writing songs about aliens, aliens and UFOs. Yeah. And I don't know if he got into much other paranormal stuff like ghosts. He, he, it was clear that he was a believer. Aliens, yeah, believer. And um, and in there in that lyrics of that song, we were just playing one of their like hit singles, mm. their hot singles. And uh, <laughs> then ripping up he, the tracks. Like, I think they sort of like broke up or took like a hiatus, mm-hmm. and then he like was on YouTube for like looking at UFO videos even longer than I have probably, <laughs> which is a the, lot. The difference is that I'm not like starting mm. a coalition for <laughs> interplanetary <laughs> yeah. space travel. Yeah. It's for trade, some kind of galactic planets. network. <laughs> uh, you, you will. But, uh, so n- then he really got into alien shit, and then and like, <laughs> <laughs> conspiracy, uh, all the all the stuff though, like the deep government cover up of UFOs yeah. as well, etc. Skunk works, and yeah, all the, that. The, yeah, the, yeah. the people. The, the and, uh, company that supposedly Mc- built Area 51. Yeah. What's the one that, uh, yeah, whatever, all those, like, air private contracted. Mm-hmm. Lockheed support, Martin Lockheed types. Martin, that's the one that yeah. work on, like, uh, supposedly defense worked and things on. Like that. Oh, definitely. To, to, like, backwards engineer. Uh, <laughs> well, we're going <laughs> like to get. flying saucers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll just get into it. So, but Tom. It's nutty that they wanted to reform. Oh, Blink one eighty two, and they're like begging yeah, yeah. Tom Long, and he's like, "No, oh yeah, that's they're imperative." Like, Bro, yes. At this point, we don't care that you're into UFOs, but like, we're not talking about that. Like, can we start UFOs? There's other can we things start that Blink exist. Blink one eighty two back. You don't have to go just... ahead and look on YouTube at those videos. You don't, don't have to just talk about <laughs> Slender Man. And, yeah, like you and can aliens. still have a, a music career. You can still strum it's on the old odd. guitar every once in a while. And he's like everybody, taking a stand. Everybody loves your high pitched voice. Yeah. They love it. Bring it back. I don't know why. I don't know why, the, but, but hey, yeah. he's successful. The stand he's taking is not the, unlike that of Dr. Martin Luther King. Wow. No, it's like he, <laughs> no, but he presents it as like. This oh no, grand... no, no, no! Yeah, yeah, no. Then this I mean, is I like. I guess if any of it's true, maybe it would. Maybe be, it is more important. It would be important. Yeah, yeah maybe he has a point there. But, so I <laughs> no, guess he has that. It's so uh, redu- yeah. It's like know, this is going to revolutionize out. not only the way that we here in the world. You know, yeah, we live our live. lives, but everywhere in the galaxy, everyone you'll be can. able to, you'll be able to, to, you know, transport yourself from yeah. one place to to the next mm-hmm. in a second. I don't worry about just the rights of humans and Earthlings. I'm worried about what's going on on Zorp Lob Nine. Exactly. I'm worried. About what's going on in Dimension X right now, Dimen- people? Come I haven't on. gotten into the other dimensions like Dimension X, mm. Earth Two, which is a DC Comics universe yeah. that's real. People, no. <laughs> it's real to me. Oh damn, my God. it's still real to me. Damn it! Oh my God! So he w- he refused to be in like one eighty two. Yeah, because he had he had talks. bigger fish to fry. Yeah, intergalactic fish. Oh, all right, Tom DeLong. Set your laser beams to stun. Okay, that was tasers. Sorry, Tom DeLong knows the Live truth is out there. Get away from her, you bitch! That's God! <laughs> We're just all the hits. Oh You're gonna God. fucking hear them all. All right. Yeah. And after, so Tom DeLong, and after leaving the pop punk band Blink-182 to focus on exploring unexplained phenomena full-time, DeLong is ready to <laughs> share that truth. Yeah. Full-time. I have to do this full... I, He's, yeah. Fellas, the music, fellas. can it comes I and goes. It. But the stars... Rock and roll, I get They're it. forever. Guitars, drums, sure. Sure. But the star, <laughs> the star's there forever. Have you ever looked at a star and wondered? Yeah. I don't look at the star and think, one day Blink-182 will be there. I think all yeah. of mankind will be there. I think there's a species living there that wants to he- hang out with me and listen to Blink-182. <laughs> Maybe some of my side projects. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of shit. We'll, we'll see how receptive awesome they are projects. to the new stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, so he says, so after yeah, he left his band and then uh, he decided to focus on exploring unexplained phenomena full time. Yeah. DeLong is ready to share. I was exploring unexplained <laughs> phenomena part time. Uh-huh. Now I'm exploring the unexplained phenomena full time. Yeah. So 40 I'm, hours a week. I'm gonna get a lot, I put my 40 hours in yeah. just like the average Joe. Nine you got your lunch pail. Half hour lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I'm, and then I'm back at it. Oh I'm gosh. back looking for aliens. Yeah. All right. Um, so he explains uh, DeLong is ready to share that truth. Oh, well, that's nice of him. Full of uh, his full time work. Yeah. That aliens exist. 
that UFOs aren't actually unidentified at all, and that extraterrestrial technology could save humanity with the rest of the world. Wow. Yeah, let that sink in. With the rest of the world. You peasants. All right. I don't hate these guys. They got good songs, yeah. damn it. That's one of them. What about Dude Ranch, man? Are you talking about the Nickelodeon show? <laughs> I don't know. All right. City Slickers? Oh, man. What's up Everybody with the... Go out and watch City Slickers. That, that's certainly like a Good 90s not. thing where... Where people right. thought City Slickers was funny? Well, just the idea of like, hey, we're going to take these city folks and we're going to put them in the country yeah. and teach them a thing or two, and we'll, you know? And watch... And Really, all that means is like they're you're gonna make people miserable camping, and they're gonna funny, funny situation. They're just gonna ride horses, <laughs> and oh that's it. you know it's like the fish out of water. I'm sorry, I'm just yeah. I watched City Slickers and it triggered me. Yeah. What about uh Curly's the Curly's hunt for gold. Curly's gold or whatever it's called? <laughs> <laughs> it was like Nazi it's like the gold worst title movie of all time. <laughs> Curly uh, had come it's from Nazi Germany gold. and he was yeah, he'd immigrated from Germany it's during in the, the same war. Universe as Indiana Jones. It sounds like or the Marathon Man. Oh, you my ever seen God. that one? Dustin Hoffman. That's a good flick. I can't bring up Dustin Hoffman anymore, but oh, no. yeah. you know that guy back then that made guy. a movie. All right. Uh, so DeLong as the founder <laughs> of the. To the stars of the academy. Yeah, that's definitely true. You can't talk about me in many more movies. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. Definitely, definitely. That's the yeah, that girl. I didn't. I didn't get approval from the girl. Yeah, definitely, definitely didn't ask her. That would be such a mind fuck to me. Is that <laughs> Ray Man is? He dropped the twenty three toothpicks on the ground. <laughs> Rain Man was uh, making so moves fast. on, or not yeah. even making moves. I mean, that I definitely just... want to grab your ass. Full, yeah, <laughs> full blown like assault. Sandy Allegedly, two point oh three ERA. Oh 19, God, he's just 62. telling you. He's just in character. <laughs> yeah, he's just telling you all kinds of fucking terrible stats. That's okay, that's yeah, that's right. All right, just get it over with. Yeah, These definitely. horrible stats. Oh my God, so many hate stats. you. Ugh. Oh my God, fucking Ratso Rizzo. <laughs> like you actually are Ratso Rizzo. Fuck. Oh my God, that insult doesn't Plus he's work. Hook. <laughs> <laughs> the great Hook. Oh the man, the titular character from the movie Hook. If I were to tell you that Hook uh, is amazing, if I were to I show agree. you Hook and I said, "All right, one day, one of these guys is gonna—he killed himself with a belt, wrapped a belt around his neck." Yeah. And the other guy is—is is he in getting in trouble for oh. some shenanigans? Is that how he went, Mister Doubtfire? Was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> oh my god! You got to throw a warning up for that oh one. Oh my That's, god! I'm, how how did we come back to this? Because we were talking about that David Carradine earlier. What the fuck kind of? This is a bizarre show. You how many celebrities are fucking? But yeah, that's fame, man. <laughs> We've had this things. discussion off the air. The, yeah. the fame is a uh, a brutal temptress, and she'll fuck oh with you. Oh my god! Yeah, that's why we're not famous. It's on purpose. Yeah, it's on purpose. <laughs> that's why nobody listens we to this show. the fame. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. All right, and uh, then and then another actor from that cast mm. would have voiced Prince Zuko in a cartoon series. Rufio, <laughs> the guy who played Rufio. I swear to God, man, there was Avatar: The Last Airbender. When I was growing up, there was nobody fucking cooler. He's the than only Rufio. Hook cast member still standing. Is the guy who played Rufio <laughs> still standing? Yeah, <laughs> like that Elton John song. Dustin Hoffman's on a fucking. He's still standing after all these years. Yeah, together, it's right just now. a matter of time before. Uh, they come for Rizzo, Ratso oh Rizzo. Oh, my God. All right, as the founder of the To the Stars Academy of Arts and Science... Oh, yeah, To the Stars. Tom DeLong is working with former high-ranking officials from the Department of Defense, CIA, uh, NSA, and Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. Oh, yeah. yeah, aerospace Skunk programs. Works, brother. <laughs> come on, Jack. All Hashtag right, brother. Hashtag Roswell. What a... Hashtag Skunk Works. <laughs> Did I just hear Skunk Works? <laughs> I'm telling you, like, like, there's plenty of you. false flags. You listen to this guy. You listen oh to this God. guy, Tom Everybody, DeLong. Alex Jones just hacked into the, our radio waves. I just hacked into your show. TV. You think the, you think you were just alone? So even just recording Zuckerberg, podcast, he will hear it. His people will hear this. The globalist showed me how to do this. <laughs> Zuckerberg, you think he's a human being? You'll know. Yeah. He's a lizard person. The world is hollow. <laughs> Have you seen that clip of Mark Zuckerberg where he's like, well, if I was a human... Uh, 
I mean, uh, I am a human. <laughs> it's super awkward. He's like Dana. Like, turns yeah, his head like, like Dana. Dana. Like, is this what fuck? human feet? Is this is human emotion? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. Overload. <laughs> yeah, he's like fucking fastbender and like uh, Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Oh my god. Okay. Perfectly. So one of DeLong's uh, partners is Louis uh, Eli Zondo. Travis Barker? Who, oh. <laughs> the old partner. Ran the Pentagon's top secret UFO investigation program. The New York Times revealed in a for the, shell. For the Department of Defense? Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, so, yeah, one of his partners is pretty much, or it's the Pentagon, rather. And oh, so, for the Pentagon. Yeah, okay. all these top secret UFO programs that have been taking place, kind of like off the books. Yeah, like recently. This yeah. This is a, new, a fairly newer one, right, that was like <clears throat> in the 2000s. Mm-hmm. According to Tom DeLong, Mr. Mr. Man... Uh, yeah. Disclosures like Saturday's report are only the tip of the spear that killed our Lord and Savior. No. Uh, and further confirmation of extraterrestrial life will continue to trickle out. DeLong claims... Oh, is he referring to the video that came out of the two like Air yes, Force fighters yes. that were like, look at that thing. What the fuck? I'm telling you right now, that is not of this world, people. This This is some kind of interdimensional being. The gray aliens. Ever heard of them? I'm usually, I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm playing underwater 40 chess. I'm thinking oh about God. everything that could happen to our All galaxy, right? possibilities. Everything. And I have not. This Tom DeLong guy, he's on to something. Listen yeah. to him. Infowars.com. Infowars.com, people. To the Stars is also his website. Male vitality. <laughs> you need it. It has bone broth. Look at it. Uh, I am a well-built man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. Ugh. I'm an animal. I'm a meat eater. The water's turning our frogs gay. Man made fire. Prometheus taught him. He brought God him made down. man. God made frog. Man made frog gay. That is not right. And you know it. Infowars.com. Sign on. Log in and password. <laughs> Password is Daily Plaza. Never oh happened. My God. Dot Sandy Hook <laughs> backslash Jet Fuel Camp Mount Steel Beans. Oh my God. Okay. DeLong claims the U.S. government has not only known about the existence <laughs> of alien Thank life you, Alex. for decades, but they've also yeah. been actively experimenting with alien technologies. So everything yeah. that everybody's always been speculating that. The, the, the states have some kind of little green man or some yeah. kind of technology. We, we recovered some hardware. crashed materials. Something's going on. And yeah. while this information has largely been hidden from the general public, not DeLong... For not for me not either. Not for me so. or Tom DeLong or you. Yeah. So. We kind of have an inside edge on some of this stuff. Yeah. I hope to get, like, kind of carve out a little bit of the paranormal... Uh. Uh, audience. I was going to say, oh, yeah, definitely that, but I'm... The, you know, and just strictly the UFO. I, I'm hoping that if I get in early on this, I'll be able to actually, like, cut out yeah. a little part of the galaxy for myself. Really? Yeah. It'll be all mine. There's infinite planets and star systems. And That's what I hear. Hundreds of millions. Now, I either sell my billion. soul to Xenu for the Scientologists. You could, yeah. That's Xenu. about a million-year contract. That's, uh... I think he's a, a lot of responsibility out there in the galaxy, but there's probably a bunch. Yeah. He's just like a... Jim Jones intergalactic. That would be really interesting if we. If That'd it, be a cool movie idea. <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> yeah. The Lord Zeno, like Scientology, is pretty much somewhat true. Yeah, but it's like that's just one. Oh yeah, he's well, not really God. God. He's yeah, he's just alien, one other like, deity or religion. Discovered the afterlife, and like can manipulate humans and. Like, oh wow! <laughs> can you imagine when we we finally do discover life when mm-hmm. human beings do? Obviously, like, the cultures, customs, traditions, everything will be, like, incredibly alien, you know? Yeah. It'll be so far from us. But yeah. the religions that they have... Oh, uh, yeah. ...is... We can't even fathom what, you know... Yeah. That's, you know... I would... I would think... It's gonna take a giant shit on Avatar, is yeah. what I'm saying. I would think they wouldn't have it. Really? That'd be my you guess. think that they're, like, yeah. so uh, they're futuristic it. far ahead? Yeah. Well... They're beyond it. But they'd certainly have, like, history of it. Of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what you know what? What people yeah. thought thousands, if not like millions of years ago. Yeah, billions in their history. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, that would be interesting. Alrighty, um, Tom DeLonge is a cutie for that booty. Alright, he's saying, and while this information has largely been hidden from the general public, DeLonge wants to lead what he believes will be an international, and perhaps one day intergalactic, ah. conversation about how these soon-to-be declassified technologies can benefit mankind. Benefit. I can't even fucking talk. Yeah. I, it just, it's, it's so funny to me that they just, you know... How these declassified technologies can benefit mankind, and oh, then they yeah. have the dumbest picture of him. Oh, circa my God. what is that like? Mom, there's something in the background. <laughs> 2003, <laughs> with his famous stars and straps gear oh, and his God. Atticus I always shirt. Hated that shit. Oh, Every man. time I saw a person in high school that had the famous stars and straps, it just a piece of me would die. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I would seriously just like roll my eyes. I'd <laughs> be so annoyed by it. You were really catty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was very anti Blink-182. Oh, honey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tom Blum says, I know it's funny to make snarky comments. <laughs> 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 he, he's, he listened to this in the future that somehow. Is. Uh, I know it's funny to make snarky comments. I know it is fun, too. Uh, and this isn't the kind of thing to joke about. All right, never mind. I'm oh, shit. I'm playing sorry. it serious. We're sorry, Tom. I apologize. All right. Uh, DeLong told the Daily News earlier this month, quote, this is going to really affect a lot of people and a lot of people's belief systems. That's true. Is he going to, like, write the new uh, Twilight book or what? Yeah, I think so. What if it's all just for a sci-fi series he wants to start? Uh, I do think he's going to Yeah, he released a book. Yeah, it was like Hidden Machines. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, The organization has... The Pokemon thing? Oh, that would be HMs? so, like so cut, badass. Cut. cut I want to introduce and cut fly. to the world. One if day, could have everybody. Surf, could have fly. You could ride a Pokemon across the water. It could fly you to different regions. One day, Joto, I hope to teach surf Hoenn. to every living human being. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> or waterfall. Right, think about how yeah. useful that would be. Swim right up a waterfall. <laughs> you just go in, in a circle 360 life. at the waterfall. Yeah. All right, so the organization has three divisions, aerospace, science, and entertainment, and, and will aliens. attempt to bring transform- transformative science and engineering. Transformers are discovered, too? The robots in surprise. <laughs> but these people are trying to bring transformative <laughs> science and engineering out of the shadows. Oh, my God, your stereo's turning into sound wave. <laughs> it's transforming. <laughs> Quick, call the police. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, so, yeah, transformative <laughs> science and engineering out of the shadows, free from the restruct- restructuring of the government priorities. That's uh, right. Restrictions, rather. Restrictions, yeah. DeLong wants to the stars to be owned by the public, which is why the company For is... For us, re- by us. <laughs> it's like communism. We're going to run the means of production throughout the galaxy and star system. Oh, my system. God. DeLong yeah. wants to the stars to be owned by the public. That would be a new galactic empire. (laughs) Do it. (laughs) Uh, Owned by the public. I've never heard the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise. (laughs) Which is why the company is relying on crowdfunding to launch. So far, To the Stars has raised over $2.1 million from more than 2,200 individual investors. So I heard the, the like, like the department of... So what it was... In the 2000s, like, the Department of Defense had a little group or whatever you want to call it studying UFO sightings, basically, Mm -hmm. right? And, uh, yeah, so I I had heard that it was kind of interesting. It was, like, they had, like, 20-something million was allotted for for that uh, in the budget. Study or, yeah. For the study, right, that project. And... I think, like, you know, your initial reaction is like, wow, so literally, legitimately, for real, the U.S. government had a UFO studies in the 2000s, which it is true. It, that's fucking crazy. Well, if you remember think. But Bush. it's also, I heard people saying, like, that amount of money, though, like, that makes me just, it's an it's interesting It's actually not detail that much money. Because it's so minuscule in the budget that if you were taking it serious, it'd probably be, you'd put a lot more money into it. Yeah. Unless, like, Tom DeLong saying, well, we already know everything about it. <laughs> you know, like, but if there's still mystery to it, um, if he's wrong and we don't really know what it is, and it, but it's a real thing, uh, they would put a lot more than, like, 20-something million in Yeah, because the they, they put way more in foreign aid. 
yeah. to, to Africa and yeah. at different places. It's, it's um, interesting. You know, I don't know what I don't know what that means. It's saying that it's uh, it's like kept as a possibility, but yeah. it's not. I think that that there's people that are willing to pay for to hear conspiracies. Yeah, but it also there's what we we had been talking about <laughs> before that it's a uh, possibly disinformation. Yeah, and just you know it's a scam. You know these are yeah. these are like confidence men, and I don't know what right. Tom DeLonge what he's thinking about, but I saw that Rogan. Yeah. interview and, and I was, oh I didn't I, see that one I suggest that uh, the listeners check it out yeah. uh, Joe Rogan experience Tom DeLonge and yeah, he sounds he even fun. says I was like a kid in a candy store I went down there and they were showing uh, me all these things and when he schematics got to, and stuff yeah like look at some stuff yeah and from, and Rogan yeah. was just like what are you talking about man like really? it's just the, the ideas are so fantastic yeah that's I mean yeah Is was see I didn't see that one but I've seen some like interviews similar to that was it like where they got, he's just like, yeah, and it's like this interstellar, and then so Joe's kind of like, okay, hold on, so this isn't, and he's like, yeah, but then, yeah, but then this other exactly. planet, well, but it's a different dimension. Oh wait, we're not talking about intergalactic. Now it's different dimensions. Mm-hmm. Well, time traveling inter. Whoa, like where it's it keeps a very getting, yeah, it's very complicated. He never process. really answers any questions. He just keeps adding layers to it. <laughs> It's fucking great, though. So I hope he yeah. does catch an alien one day. I hope he does. And he, he makes as uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson would say, you know, like drag it into the main street. I want to see it. Looking up with billions of stars and galaxies across the galaxies, and <laughs> that didn't make sense. <laughs> but there's billions of star systems with life possibly on them. What do you think Neil deGrasse Tyson would say to? Tom DeLong, if you had, you know, about about aliens, Mr. about alien Tom life. Tom DeLong, there are billions of planets <laughs> and molecules and <laughs> microbes. Just... I think you're full of shit. <laughs> the Blink 182 is nice. And now something for your listening pleasure. Good morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Wish you a great day tell you that meeting you yesterday and getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life you were so beautiful you don't know how beautiful you are to me i mean just you're gorgeous you're precious and uh but it's been sitting in my mind when you said to me you want to go back with your ex-boyfriend please erase him from your memory don't ever go back in the past i know because i've been there and i understand when you know, you're trying to find somebody and you go on dates and nothing compares to your ex. But there is that better person out there. And Julia, I promise you, it is me. I will love you like you've never been loved before. I will cherish you. I'll make you f- feel like a woman, a real woman. And believe me, after you experience me, you won't even know who your ex-boyfriend is. So open up your heart to me in your arms let's go full throttle I could see me falling in love with you <laughs> I just I don't know I just looked in your eyes and I just melt anyhow I'm headed off to work this is my cute little home everything you see behind me I built everything every square inch from crown molding to chair rail to floors to lighting to plumbing doors windows so this is the type of guy you get I'm a very handy guy, and uh, I'd love to build you whatever you want. You're a sweetheart. So I hope this video doesn't scare you, but that's how I feel. I just want you to know that, okay? And I look forward to uh, going out to dinner with you. So let's make it happen. Mwah. Ciao, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, listener. If you don't want to, you want to make sure you don't scare a girl away on a phone call. Yeah. Make sure you say, "I hope this doesn't scare you," in the middle of the call, the message. I think we've all been there where we're a little too, <laughs> we're a little too anxious yeah. to maybe call somebody that we meet. Right. We're excited about. Gives us those butterflies. 
Oh, no. Uh, that guy just shit the bed. Yeah. That's a whole other level of... I'm going to call you the next day after I meet at the bar. With him, it was more like caterpillars. <laughs> it was just stomach. super, super premature. <laughs> yeah, hey, see, it worked. Hey, yeah, man, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we're excited to bring that up. Obviously, we're talking about Take My Breath Away, yeah. the segment where we talk Good about life, segue. love, the pursuit of passion, happiness. The American Dream. Yeah. Dusty Superman. Rhodes, baby. Oh, my God. I love them all, baby. Dusty Rhodes, Clark Kent. It don't, ma- yeah. it don't matter if they're black or Cal white, Hall. baby. You know, it's all... They're from the planet Krypton. <laughs> as long as they're not from the planet Krypton, baby. And oh they don't think God. they're going to take over this That's like planet. Dusty Rhodes, Batman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. A son- I was a son of a billionaire, baby. But my parents... He was gunned down. But my parents, they got gunned down, honey. And now I'm just a crime-fighting daddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about um, love. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my God. Fucking Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes Batman. And, um, oh man, there was another incredibly strange story. Mr. Freeze, you're up to <laughs> your no good antic again. <laughs> you think you're going to go freeze me? You can never keep a good man down, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> oh my God. I'm giving you hard times, baby. Oh my it's God. It's going to be hard times. I'm going to throw you up in an Auckland asylum. Oh my and god. And you are gonna be there. Asylum. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Nora. <laughs> Nora. I really think they they fleshed out that character with Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. in the Batman movie. <laughs> <laughs> got some freezing lines. <laughs> it's really cold in here. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you just uh, chill? <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything. Every line uh, it was fun. so Batman sixty six. Like they're better than the puns. Like I usually do yeah. on the show, it's just slightly, <laughs> but not a lot better. So <laughs> yours, yeah. they just don't land. Yeah. <laughs> you see, they're just not landing. Just not landing. <laughs> All yeah. right, so uh, take my breath away. I mean, we yeah. are world renowned for this this bit, Craig. Uh, we're talking about life, love. Liberty, the pursuit of happiness, yeah. passion, and what it does this to people. This is one of our favorite segments. That it certainly the is. Listeners really like. Uh, we do it a lot. Today is a, is a strange, strange article. Courtesy of the Daily Mail, UK. Some say love is a little strange. A little like a refugee. It's like it's uh, it's like war. All is fair <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a way of just explaining things so eloquently sometimes. <laughs> I can really tell that you you uh, yeah. you were trained at the the most mm-hmm. esteemed schools mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and academies. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, the story today: wife accidentally bites off her husband's testicle in a uh. surge of excitement <laughs> during Classic aggressive man. lovemaking session. Yeah. In Taiwan. In Taiwan. Yeah. A man in Taiwan was reportedly rushed to hospital on Boxing Day yeah. after his wife chewed off one of his testicles. During... Should have been Biting Day, <laughs> not Boxing Day. I just wanted you to beat them around a little yeah. bit, not bite one of them up. Oh my god! So the yeah. wife chewed off one of his testicles yeah. during an aggressive like love making session. Beef jerky session. strip. <laughs> <laughs> Bite into it. Hum. Harder, harder. Oh fuck! It just came off. <laughs> <laughs> when paramedics they arrived are. at the couple's home, yeah. they apparently saw the 51-year-old man... Passed out. Surnamed Wang. For real? Wearing a robe and holding his severed testicle in a rice bowl. Oh. While the wife it repeatedly... Like a tofu dish. Oh, it, sir, put down the tofu. Did you... Were you in an accident, though? What's, I'll maybe try a bite of that later, but... I don't want any of your Mountain, takeout, sir. Rocky Mountain Oyster or whatever what happened? it is. Send me your takeout. Sir, put the takeout down. I have to read that again. When paramedics arrived at the couple's home. And he's just wearing white pants with like blood. Oh, just no. Plug it up. <laughs> all right. When, Why was it in a rice bowl, like to dry it out before he took it to the. <laughs> the There's so hospital. many jokes I'm not even touching. <laughs> oh all right. When paramedics arrived at the couple's home, they apparently saw the 51 year old man, surnamed Wang. Yeah. <laughs> wearing a robe and holding his severed testicle in a rice bowl 
while the wife repeatedly exclaimed, I accidentally bit it off. Oh my man, they were direct. They are straightforward. Yeah. Here is my ball. She accidentally bit it off. End of story. Like, the paramedics knew everything they needed to know. All right, hop in. We know just what to do. Uh, <laughs> we're trained for this. I wa- God damn it, I went to school for eight years, oh and I God. finally got the call of my life. Got the ball it's finally going to happen. Severed ball. <laughs> all those, uh, all the college studying, all, all your, your book smarts. Yeah. And the man might bleed out, you know? You never know. Uh, Taiwan News report, a- Apple Daily reported that the man's right... Ball had been ripped yeah. off by his wife, surname Haish. Haish. Oh, Haish did that. So was forty nine. She's forty nine years was, old. Was I'm assuming that his his mm-hmm. uh, scrotum, yeah, was open at this point, right? What's that? <laughs> it's like your nutsack. Your yeah, scrotum. yeah. Oh, your scrout. Yeah, your yeah. Scrout. His groat scrout. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was bleeding out pretty bad. So it was just open. We up. got a bleeder. Like a. Like a fucking water balloon. It just opened up. So the wifey called an ambulance to the... Ambul- ambulance. Can I get an ambulance? Uh, ambulance. To the home at around 2 a.m. on December 26th. Oh, my so God. The, the day, day, after day after Christmas. Christmas. Oh, my God. This should have been in a Christmas story. <laughs> this is what, what was her present? Just, like, a grill? Like a wrapper she pointed to her mouth. grill. This is the grill that I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use this to bite your fucking... <laughs> That's the goal. I don't even know where you get to that that point because yeah. I, like I'm all for the kinky stuff, you know. Yeah, just not the on ice Christmas, cubes, the ice cubes and the mouths. Hey, whatever. Oh, yeah. But you know, when you're stuck on all balls, you might want to. We might need to have a sexy segment one day too. Yeah, we get, into we get really sexy. It's like a sub segment of Take My Breath Away. <laughs> we talk about fetishes. And... <laughs> I thought that kind was just more a like, regular... but it's more like tip. <laughs> yeah, it's the tips We're and tricks. We're giving tips, yeah. We're going to give you some fetish hacks. Yeah, so, yeah. something that you oh and your God. lover, you know, to to expand your universe. Hey. We're talking pee-pee. We're talking feet. We're Maybe talking strap one on. Strap you might like on. it. All right. I like to bind. I like to be bound. Okay? We're talking all that stuff. All but right, that's for so another episode. The wife... The Today, wife tonight, we're talking about biting off a test. <laughs> so, anyway... Yeah, that's tame. Tonight is the real yeah. stuff. Tonight's the real meat eater edition. Yeah. All right, the wifey called the ambulance to the home at 2 a.m. on December 26th. Yeah. Apple Daily. Like, um, I have this thing that I bit. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, um, I accidentally bit this thing off and it was in my mouth. Um, excuse me. Apple Daily reported that <laughs> Wang works at a car repair shop. Mm. He and the wife had married for many years and have two children. No more children, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Now Paramedics. he only has one. Oh, she's talking about his actual children. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she committed genocide on me. Oh my god. Um, he had a whole. You At know, least he already like spread his seed before yeah, she. Thank God, because we need we need a, a lot that. of a lot of little wangs running around yeah. out there. I guess I mean it's, she wanted like a cheaper vasectomy <laughs> to give her husband, so she just Paramedics. sharpened her teeth and. Par- paramedics said the the panicking couple were waiting for them at the entrance of their <laughs> oh flat God. in Taochung City in West waiting. Taiwan. Wang With the was, rice bowl? <laughs> Wang was taken to Tung's Taochung Metro Harbor Hospital where he was treated by Lu Li Hu, the mm-hmm. supervisor of ER. No, not Ju- George Clooney. Lu uh. Li Hu. Lou said You're, that the, you were a Noah Wiley fan, weren't you? I was always more of a George Clooney fan. What was the on a real note though? Yeah, because we're, we're already great. talking about this. Yeah, and we're talking about love and dreamy. What was characters. the woman's name that later went on to? She was a liar, liar. She was like the bitch in ER. Yes, <laughs> not the one with the crutches, but the other one. And she was on Liar Liar. Yeah, the mom from Liar Liar. She oh, was Jim in, Carrey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but no, she was she was the oh, she was the I, wife you know. in um, semi pro. That's always oh. banging Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrel or uh, yeah, Woody Harrelson. She uh, what's her name? I always had a thing for her. Yeah, growing up, she she's was in kind comedies of, and stuff. She was kind right? of uh, yeah. It was kind of a vivacious lady. Yeah, she was very. Yeah. She seemed very nice. Yeah, very pretty. I'd like to meet her. 
Uh, Lou said that the patient's scrotum was yeah. uh, sutured. I like how we... This is... This is a nice lady. So the, the sutured yeah. <laughs> scrotum you were talking about, what's the state of that? How's that doing? Suture me up, That was perfect. I'll hand you my ball and stick it back it's in It's almost as if I've completely detached myself. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. It's a regular So did he just tell the do doctor this. to stuff that thing back in the old sack and zip it up? <laughs> stuff it in the purse, zip it up. I'll be on my way, Doc. Zip. <laughs> Where's my hat? Oh, my God. Uh, Lou said the patient's I'm in a hurry, Doc. scrotum was uh, sutured, but his right testicle was not reattached. Oh, no. For fear of an infection. It grew into a second... Guy altogether. I love just the picture <laughs> of uh, that's the Lou doctor. Lou. After shaking his head for several minutes, he said, <laughs> "We cannot it just reattach." Says, Lee Lou who a doctor said the patient's <laughs> testicle was not reattached for fear of an infection, and he has a blank look yeah. on his face. After he pried it out of her mouth, this is like they, they caught him while he was eating fact. his lunch, and they're like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, Doctor yeah, Lou!" Picture of him. <laughs> it's like a candid picture. Like he just walked out of the bathroom or something. <laughs> and didn't see you. Uh, he says we were concerned that he would not be able to. And regain. he was just eating meatballs that <laughs> night. <laughs> something just. I just got the taste for meatballs. I just gotta have them. Something about oh my it. God. Uh, Doctor Lou said we. Uh, we were concerned that we would not be able to, re- he would not be able to regain proper function of his testicle, mm. which could lead to male infertility infertility in the future. Yeah, Doctor Lee expressed. Um, the doctor also said, he would not, that he would need to run additional examinations to see if the incident would affect Wang's fertility. Ah, uh, well, it have to affect it, right? I mean, uh, not necessarily just <clears throat> end it, but. It not ended, but it's like that's where his like semen is made. And his I know. Balls, I mean, and well, one I, of them isn't there. Maybe I so. need to do some more research, but I would imagine it would cut it in about fifty percent, right? <laughs> I mean, you'd think, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe not though. Maybe it like hulks out and makes up for the other ball if you lose one. It overcompensates. If your wife bites off one of them. Yeah, maybe it grows. Wang was still recovering at the facility at the time of this writing. Did they put a prosthetic one in there? Because I've heard they do that, right? Just to, so you don't like walk crooked. The rest oh of yeah, your life. it's like a nudical, right? To balance it's like you a, out. It's like a dog's ball. Wait, is what? that what it is? Oh my or, god! Or I think it's the other way around. I said what to my own thing. Yeah. My own statement. Wait, what? Did you really just say that? Um, yeah. So <laughs> like they a little, like, they would make prosthetic there. bowls for men that at, lose theirs. At, yeah, and then they're like, his hey. is a little bit weirder of a reason mm-hmm. for losing it, but. Uh, but they ended up, I remember watching this fucking weird animal show on Animal Planet where it was like, these people would buy fake testicles for their dogs. After they got them fixed? Yes. Really? Yes. So oh it would God. look like they they had testicles, but they didn't. What the fuck? There were just marbles so in there. Weird. Yeah. Well, this guy, hopefully he got a prosthetic testicle. Otherwise... You know, he lost his right, so he only has his left. He's going to be, like, leaning left his whole life, like, walking in circles. Be all off balance. <laughs> like some Poor fucking guy. sailors. They're, like, yeah. uh, permanently, like, at a 45-degree angle. Yeah. What is that called? It's, like, uh... Healthy. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Now yeah. something completely different. <laughs> this is good. It's good, like a nutty live version. Non costume and stolen by me. Oh my god. Start spreading. Okay, no. Jeez. Now I'm ready. He was getting all aggressive. Yeah, he just was not good. Spreading the fucking news. news. Well, that's it. That's all from us. Oh man. Thanks for, you know, easing into the new year with us. We hope we helped lead you into the oh, new yeah, year, the new you, frontier, you, as it were. You learned a little bit about yourself. Uh-oh. Is it going to get really soulful? Oh, fuck yeah, it will. And you know, I really hope that you were nicer to your fellow man this uh, year. Exactly right. And uh, World know, peace on Earth. Yeah, help your neighbor. Yeah. You know? Um... <laughs>
and Unless world hunger and yeah world hunger that should end i mean why do we have it i don't even like it mm-hmm. end it get rid of it abolish it <laughs> trump i'm looking at you Prez. <laughs> potus honestly it has and, been uh, a war i don't like war either yeah do you? Do you like it's war? on my naughty list yeah it should be I that's was... one of my resolutions end war mm-hmm. and end world hunger this Those year? are my two resolutions it's for 2018. Two resolutions? For personally, for me. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to end uh, global warming, personally. Really? To, yeah. to ex- accelerate it? Heat it up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to just let everybody, I'm going to yeah. let it be known, you know? Hey, just look not... at me. I read something look on the me. internet. I read this one article. I'm saying there's global warming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So weather changes exist, dog. Yeah. I mean, it might uh, even... Is it a flat planet? Maybe. Debatable. <laughs> yeah, we just hope that uh, maybe in the next year you'll you'll treat your fellow man a little better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, are you going to play uh, New York? Yeah, New I was going to say, fuck this. I'm like, actually... Gonna I, I liked there. going out on the sad note there. Yeah, but we can't. We, gotta, we can't do it. We got to do a big style. Yeah, be, be nicer right. to your fellow man, you yeah. know. We gotta listen to more, more Rolling Stones. Hopefully, we get this year an announcement on a new Rolling Stones studio album. Yes, because we're re- reviewing all the Rolling Stones studio albums, U.S. studio albums. Hopefully, there's another new one. Plus, we want to maybe review other albums too, right? Yeah, definitely. I think this year, new or next year, we can uh, just kind of deal all be, around the board. Yeah, we were talking this about like our our. We did the on air Rolling Stones album review. Yeah. We were talking about maybe doing it like that. Where that one still went long, but like the idea of doing one and having like maybe one little segment uh-huh. to kind of just keep it loose, keep it and, keep it light, and keep wacky, them guessing. And wacky and surreal, and cover your tracks. That's what I always cover say. our tracks, and then yeah, you know, do our do an album review, mm-hmm. but do them kind of regularly and have them be like maybe shorter episodes. I think would be cool. Definitely. Well, but, fuck, uh, man. Yeah. What is there to say? I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep. God damn. That's what I want to say. I haven't been in New- to New York in a very long time since yeah. I was a-, a wee lad. Really? Yeah. You were. Uh, you just went there with a dream in your pocket and mm-hmm. a hope in your heart and just sparkly-eyed looking at all the city lights. They yeah. were so bright to you. They're and blinding. then I ran into this guy named Ratso Rizzo. And, and he pulled you into an alley. He took all my money. Yeah. Well... Yeah, <laughs> from the, our the bright to lights yours. of Sacramento. Yeah, we're doing it up big for New Year's Eve tonight. Very, very true. This city doesn't sleep I got either. Some champagne, lights, <laughs> camera. Yeah, a lot of champagne. That's gonna be great. So if you can make we're it in Sacramento, You'll see you can there. make it anywhere. Exactly right. All right, from your friends that let's spend the night together. We love so you, Happy babe. New Year. Happy New Year. Like, comment, Should subscribe. Should all acquaintances all that be shit. forgot? I don't know what he said. All right. <laughs> Such a pain right over here. <laughs> These are little.